Hello and welcome to lecture 22. Uh, the topic of this lecture is meditation time. Because you want to solve problems and succeed in life, you have to take at least one hour in a day. That is my suggestion. You can take 30 minutes if you have a tight schedule, because some of us, we have tight schedule. No matter how tight schedule you have, you must make sure you spare at least 30 minutes, but I recommend one hour. You take one hour a day, you set it apart just for meditation. I call it meditation time. Some people do up to three hours just to meditate. When you are meditating, what are you doing? You are, you know, just thinking. Thinking good thoughts in your heart. And when we get to the next session, you are going to understand it more. Then you are going to, it is the time to plan your way, plan your time, plan your life. It is also the time to appraise your plan and reappraise what you are planning you see it's a time to you know tell god some people call it the universe tell god your desire what you desire you see when you are meditating you project your thoughts to the you know to the spiritual atmosphere what you need as you meditate you are saying this is what i need as you say it in your mind you say it with your mouth you will be surprised how the power of God will come to your aid. You see, it is in the time of meditation that people grow and some people even get to the level of speaking with angels, you know, when your meditation begins to grow. So take a time apart and let me tell you, when you are meditating, you have to look beyond the reality. The reality of your situation, we know, can be felt, can be touched. But when you are meditating, you have to go beyond the reality. Reality is temporal. Reality does not last. Your thinking, your meditation is more potent because what is real can change. For instance, the computer with which you are watching me can get burnt. That's reality. But is it the potential, the power in your mind is much more real than what we can feel and touch. So what you meditate and think about has more power than what you can see and touch. So take care to meditate and you will see the power of God, you know, moving in your life to move you forward. This is the end of section four. In the next lesson, I'm going to section five. And this section is so powerful, I cannot wait to see you there. Thank you so much. and. God bless you.